Hello, hello everyone! It's Kylie. I'm back. It's been actually a really long time since I have sat here in front of all the lights and filmed a real video. Sometimes I just like hit record if I'm dyeing my hair and I just don't say anything and I'm like not wearing makeup and I'm just like half asleep because it's 2 a.m. when I dye my hair. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I'm tie-dyeing because um... Yeah, I swear one day, one day I'm gonna sell all this stuff. I uh, have just been doing a lot of other things, a lot of other projects. I've been working. Your girl got her cosmetology instructor's license. In the future, if I make any more educational content, you will be educated technically by a licensed educator for cosmetology. So, yeah, I've just been doing a whole lot. One thing that I got to check off of my bucket list of all time, I got to be in a music video. Like, I kid you guys not, ever since I was a kid, one huge thing that I always said I wanted to be was in a music video for like a rock band or something. Like, when you're watching a music video, the people in it are living as the vibe of the song. And like, you know, I know it's like they're playing characters. In my head, the personified vision of a sound, that is like the most artsy you can get. So, I mean, today that's what I'm going to witness is for the very first time seeing myself in this music video. And watching this video, I'm going to like walk you guys through what my experience was behind camera. I got to work with Adriel Genet. I believe that's his last name. I've never had to say it out loud, so that felt weird saying. Um, I got to work with Angelo Rosario, who was my fake boyfriend person thing. Co-star. Co there we go. That's the right word. Co-star. Obviously, I worked with the whole band, but the person who like met up with me, initiated the meeting, gave me all the information was the singer and songwriter Adriel who is the frontman of the band um, so you'll see his face but everyone in the band was awesome they were all a big part of creating this um, and Luke Covert was um, the director who basically created the vision turned it into life everyone on this team did such a good job professionally so I cannot wait to see what the video actually ended up like. Alright, I'll stop rambling, let's get into it. Okay, I need to calm down. Yes! I did that properly that third time. By the way, the video, the link to the video on YouTube is going to be in the description, as well as the link to Burn the Ballroom's Spotify. The biggest thing about me making this video is so that I can share with you guys how amazing this band is. Burn the Ballroom is so underappreciated, like they are literally such a good band. You guys need to check them out after this. You promise me. Prom promise me. Ah, okay. Alright, let's do it! I'm so excited, I'm so nervous. Alright, it's gonna start guys. Okay, ready? Ready, ready? That do think you're good for me That do think we're meant to be Starting. It's not like you're my destiny I just want your love <laughs> Calm down just So, that little glimpse of that scene of me in my car was so awkward because I had just, so I was working that morning and we were supposed to film like right around sunset. I was like racing against time um, after work to get there and I didn't even have my makeup on yet because I wanted it to be super fresh. And I also brought six pairs of shoes and I showed them all to Adriel. I like spilled them out of my car. I was like, look at these, which one? And I had already chosen a dress, like I sent them six dresses and 
he, uh, Adriel helped me choose one, and um, I bought it. So that dress ended up being the one I wore, but like I had all these other options just in case. They were like texting me like, where are you, where are you? We're like done shooting all of the parts for Angelo that were not with me in them. I was just slapping makeup on my face and my car was a mess. They were, they were like, let's go film in your car. And I was like, my car is a mess right now. I look like I'm living out of my car right now because I brought seven outfits. They were like, no, 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 that's good. We want it to look like you're a hot mess. Like we want to portray that you're nervous, you're contemplating so many different outfits because you want it to be perfect, right? So like the nice thing about the role I was playing in this is that I am actually supposed to be nervous. Um, in me and um, Angelo's head, our vision is that this was like our third date and the, like the first two dates went so well. Like they went perfectly. Today is the day he's decided that he's gonna have to tell me that he loves me because it's time. Like it's gonna happen. But I don't know that yet. All I know is that I'm really nervous because I'm going on a date with someone that's it's already going well. All I have to do is be as nervous as I already am because I've never filmed a video before. I have no acting experience. They had me like throw my clothes all over my car more. Like they made me mess up everything on purpose. Anyways, I know that that was like a little glimpse of a scene, but that's just diving into like what it was like for just that part like they had to make me like drive my car all the way around the lot just so that the lighting was perfectly hitting my face and that yeah like it they really put all these little details in these things don't just happen all the time here i am but i think you know i don't think you're good holding wine glasses and just talking. They were like, so you guys need to hold wine because it is a winery, but in the music video, they're having like a fundraiser for something and the band is playing at this fundraiser and um, me and the main lead characters, like us two, have decided to go on this fundraiser as a date because we know that the band is playing and we thought it'd be a good idea and it's set around like fall which is funny why like we filmed this like a little bit before Halloween and now it's coming out <laughs> so it's been a while since we filmed it and I like I'm trying to remember all the details but like they put these wine glasses in our hands and they were like these are other people's wine glasses don't drink out of them and um because we have to give them back to the people. Um, but also they weren't letting us drink because we're working. We're like, you know, it's just a professional environment where we have to be actors and, you know, not get drunk. So we're just holding these wine glasses, swishing them around. We just have to be a part of the scene. So we just start talking, laughing, like having conversations about music, um, about hiking, and then like, five minutes go by and then Luke is like you guys did a great job let's do it again and we're like, <laughs> like we're filming <laughs> so it was just kind of cool how like parts of this whole thing were just so organically made like they just kind of knew the right moments to catch us Okay, wait, that 
scene was really funny. Like they were riding up into the barn and everyone had to like make space and it was so loud. But it was like all for the, you know, music video. It was just like really scary in the moment because for a while we totally weren't paying attention. And then all of a sudden there's like a motorcycle in the barn with us. Um, that was cool though. They had half of the crowd dress as, in cocktail wear and then like halfway through the music video everyone slowly starts to like dress more edgy. Like they are inviting more of the edgy people to come like into the scene and some people even brought two outfits. So if you notice in the crowd there's people wearing fancy clothes and then eventually there's more and more and more people wearing punk clothes. to watch that again because it was so good um so we had to do all the scenes multiple times but that particular one we like I feel like we did that one so many times because it was so important to get our facial expressions from all different angles and then also just the sound so it was hilarious everyone on stage was like clapping to this metronome because we couldn't have the music on to make it like w because uh, when Angelo's voice comes in they wanted to make sure everyone was already quiet like there was no background sound whatsoever like getting involved so everyone had to be silent but everyone had to silently pre pretending that they were listening to music like yeah yeah but like dead silent all you could hear was like footsteps and creaks and breath adriel is like this is what i'm here for yep this is my job <laughs> like he was just like come on guys let's do this and like going along with the metronome and everyone was swaying with us so that we all stayed on beat and then like they wanted me to make this silence as awkward as possible they wanted me to go way longer than I thought was necessary so it took me a few tries to like really feel comfortable like marinating in that silence because when all eyes are on you like literally I don't know how many people were there at least 50 they were all surrounding and then they were just staring at us and I was just like ah! <laughs> jump in his arms and so it was just like really um high energy but very anticlimactic when it came to like the fact that we literally had no sound but then the sound does kick in once I jump in his arms so then in real life everybody is like yeah yeah and it was just so great the energy at that point was like now that I think about it there weren't that many people there like we wanted it to look like a packed house you know there wasn't enough people to make it look as packed as we wanted it to seem so they had everyone kind of surround us on one side of the camera angle and they were like okay now we're done shooting this angle we're gonna come over here and everyone from the back has to scoot their way over and then everyone in the front comes to the back but what happens is like one scene someone's there and then you see them on the whole other side of like the scene and it's because we just had to like pretend there was twice the amount of people by moving them around um so interesting i know that for anyone who's watching this like if you guys have seen 
the way music videos work or how any filming works duh like all of this is is normal stuff but I have never been a part of it I was never in theater I was never in filming I was never in um, any kind of videoing other than vlogging on YouTube so it's like it's a whole new world to me I love you I want to deposit on Brooke and Lindsay for a second because Brooke and Lindsay are hilarious. So Brooke is my coworker. She is the entire reason why I was a part of this music video to begin with because we work together and um, Brooke is best friends with the singer and the whole band basically. And Lindsay is their social media coordinator and she does a lot more involvement with the band like she's even in other music videos. She was taking pictures of of me and videos of me for their like behind the scenes footage and stuff. Uh, if you want to check out their TikTok, um, I think it's just burn the ballroom but I'll just put like a tag there. Check it out. Um, say hi to Lindsay in the comments if you want to. Behind the scenes, they were going to play out a whole separate love story where me and Angelo are like, you know, mingling behind us. They're friends and they become like a couple and then they make out at one point. And I don't know. I don't know if they did or not. There was a lot of footage that didn't get put in. But like, just so you guys know, the love story of Brooke and Lindsay is in there somewhere. <laughs> so happy. Starring Kylie the Jellyfish and Angelo Rosario, um, directed by Luke Covert. That was cool. I, for at first, like, I was a little worried when I saw that it was only like a glimpse of a worry when I saw that my name on here was Kylie the Jellyfish because I was like, oh my god, did they not know my real last name? Oh no, they thought my last name is Jellyfish. And then I thought about it. I was like, no, 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 no. That's stupid. Like, obviously, they know I have a real last name, but no one asked me what my real last name was. And then I realized, no, the whole point of them putting my name here is so that if someone watches the music video, if someone wanted to find me, none of my social medias have any connection with my real last name. And then my middle name is a whole separate story that like most people, if you look up my last name, you, it's going to be my middle name. So it's confusing. I would very much rather them call me Kylie the Jellyfish because it's the name that majority of the internet knows me by if you know who I am at all. So I find that to be chill. <laughs> this, like, this is literally checking off a life goal of mine um, to finally have myself in a music video and uh, I just feel really satisfied about it because they really put it they put it together so well. You know what I'm really glad they didn't add? There was this one scene, the very first moment when like I'm running in and they're like, all right, Kylie, put your stuff down. We got to film this part. And I was like, oh, okay. I need to put my eyelashes on. They're like, how long is that going to take? And I'm like, I don't know, a minute, just a minute. So I put on my eyelashes, come out and they're in the hallway and they're like, all right, film this part where you're just pacing back and forth. But what they had me do, so it's like a really long narrow hallway that's like, it goes all the way back there. And I'm standing at the front of the hallway and what they want to do is portray the feeling of like claustrophobia, like just, I'm uncomfortable. Like they want to show discomfort and um, panic, like pacing back and forth. So they have me walk the short distance of the hallway instead of walking up and down this way like which is what you would do if you're in real life pacing they had me walk back and forth like a 
two foot space of like just back and forth back and forth and they had me pace like that and they had me like like sink to the ground like fidget with my hands try to play with my hair to fix it and stuff like that and it just didn't like I was so nervous I was like really 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 trying to make that work but I didn't know how it was gonna end up because this was my first scene like I had no warm-up I just was dove right into it and obviously that's what you gotta do you just gotta dive right in but like I'm glad they didn't put that part because it felt really weird to film and it was the most uncomfortable scene I had to do in the entire thing. It was worse than when they made me make my car messier <laughs> because my car was already messy so it was kind of fun like I had like a shoe in my hand and I threw it back there. I was putting on mascara, all this stuff. They took all of that out but like th what they did was keep it in the fact that I had like all of my, my uh my cute dress is hanging in the car. I was gonna get way more behind the scenes footage and do a vlog, but I was so busy and it was, even though like we took all day, it was like so fast paced that I ended up like forgetting about my phone entirely. In fact, like I didn't even know where my phone was for half of the day. Like Lindsay had it at one point and then another point it was just sitting on someone's car. And then like, I just, I lost it at one point but I didn't care because I was busy and then I found it on a chair. I'm gonna have my parents watch the music video now. Oh. Yes. Wow, Kylie, that's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was good. And look, they call me. I'm the first name. Kylie, Kylie the, the jellyfish. jellyfish. There she is. Oh, I love it. I love I did it! I did it! You did it! <laughs> is this that on is mom adorable! Now? No. Um, We're gonna tell everybody. That is amazing! It was good. Angela that was Rosario. good. Very good. I think they're very talented. I, I like their music. I, I haven't heard one I don't is like. Awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make them very popular. Wonderful, sweetheart. Thank you. For Thank you, bud. Thank you. Everybody's wondering how. That is so adorable. How I got bug out of jellyfish. <laughs> That's another story. All right, so in conclusion, my parents love the music video. So do I. Thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you to Brooke, who was the one who got me involved in this all in the first place. You know, it's funny, um, when Adriel, the singer, was coming in to get his uh, hair cut by Brooke, um, we're hairstylists, like, I was working behind her, and I introduced myself. I think, like, we, we said hi, like, because I knew who he was. And then either Brooke brought it up or he brought it up that it was like, oh, maybe she should be in a music video one day. And that was like, that was like three years ago. So like, I just thought it was kind of cool that it's finally happened. My two favorite songs by Burn the Ballroom, other than Calm Down, I really love the song Esmeralda. And I really love the song, um, The Ship That Shared Her Name. I think that's what it's called the ship that shared your name that's what it was called so those are my two favorite songs other than this one I would absolutely love it if you could check those out if I can pop them up on some kind of a bubble here I will but if um, not I'll put them down in the description so please check those out please follow them on Instagram on Spotify on TikTok um, I don't know what else but honestly just like love them Love them dearly. Hold them close to your heart because they are great. <laughs> cool. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go watch it to give them some real likes and comments and love because while you did watch parts of it here, I didn't film every part of the video so that you guys could go enjoy the real song um but it would really really mean a lot to me if you guys could to go to their page or go somewhere on one of their sites to give them views to give them support because that is what you know their goal is as they they're not only musicians and artists but this is their career and this is their dream and while they're doing a great job at it 
I'm here to help them out too because I truly believe that they deserve way more recognition for the hard work that they do to create such beautiful, meaningful music. So um, it would mean a lot if you go support them for me. Thank you guys so much. I hopefully will be able to make more videos this year, so uh, let me know down below how much you would like that, if it's possible, if there's any particular kind of video you want to see. Um, stay epic. Love you guys. Bye.